Today we're going to look at how I did this lasered outline glowing motion blur effect in my latest short film Kung Pao within After Effects. And if you're wondering what's up with this lighting Austin, well I'm out of town right now for my job and I only have this light, so deal with it. As always, like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a thing. Who knows, maybe your subscription will help me get better equipment. <laughs> Dad gum it! Let's do it! <laughs> Just a reminder, if you don't want to hear my banter at the beginning, there is a time code in the description below that can go right to when we're editing. <laughs> How about that Dogecoin? Hmm? Do doggo, doggy, Dogecoin, whatever. So as you can see, uh, for the second video in a row, I am not in the same place. I am in a hotel room out of town for me job. So just ignore if the lighting looks bad. It's with lamps, but actually I think it looks okay. It looks decent. But yeah, out of town. It's a beautiful place. Cut to the drone shot I got. <laughs> beautiful, isn't it? Anyway, let's get into it. This uh, tutorial was uh, brought to me by a comment from one of y'all, a guy by the name of Peter K. Um, and he commented on a video wanting to know how to create this uh, motion blur of glowiness, this laser outlining uh, glow effect on the film Kung Pao with the magazines. So, uh, I'm happy to do it. That being said, I do know that there's other people who have commented on my videos wanting to see a tutorial for certain things. I have those on the list. They are jotted down. You have been noted. Um, the reason I haven't done them yet is because those are very time consuming where this one is very fast. I could just do it right after I got off work. I just got off work. I set the camera up and we're doing it. That's what's happening. That Does that make sense? It should make sense. Thank you for understanding. Let's get into it. So we have After Effects open up. Here's our shot right here of just the magazines falling down. You can see we have our you know vanity flare, our lime, our vague, just our classic top-notch A-list uh, magazines. So the first thing we want to do is take the uh, footage that we have and du duplicate it. We can rename it for organization's sake to glowing blur. Uh, actually, we'll do glowing motion blur motion blur. So then we're going to take our shot right here and create a mask around our Vanity Flare magazine uh, as it's falling down to the table. So we go to our pen tool. It doesn't have to be a pretty mask. It can be somewhat sloppy, but it's really just a rectangle. Um, and then now that we have our mask, uh, make sure our footage is selected and select M on the keyboard. Your mask is going to pop up in the uh, drop down arrow and you're going to see mask path. We want to select the uh, stopwatch right there and now we've created a keyframe. So now we can move through our footage and move the mask and the mask will now be keyframed to move along with it. Um, I know this is basic stuff right there, but you would not believe how many times I forget to do that. So I'm going to keep saying it in every tutorial I do. While we're keyframing this, you'll notice the magazine is starts the magazine starts out a frame and then comes into frame. So when we're trying to mask something around that, when trying to rotoscope it basically, um, I find it easier to start when it's fully in frame and then we just work backwards. All right, let's do it. Okay, so now we have this mask gun. You can see again, it's not beautiful, but it uh, will do the job. And also you can see I've taken our clip and I did uh, cut it off at the end right here just because I know the effect's going to be over by then and we don't need to have multiple layers of footage. It helps with the RAM. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. I feel like it does though. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna right mouse click on our footage. We're going to go to effect, color correction, curves, and we are going to curve the crap out of this shot. We're going to make a anchor point at our bottom left third and then at our top right third. Oh my gosh, I selected red. What on earth? So sorry, that's embarrassing. Um, select it right there. And then we're going to pull this top one very far up and the bottom left one, we're gonna push it. We're basically pushing them uh, low into the center and high into the center. And we get this super contrasted uh, look. And this is gonna help with the next effect we're gonna add to it, which is right mouse click on our footage, effects, and uh, what is it? It's uh, stylize and find edges. So now we can see the effect that is being done right here is it is taking the footage and it has found the edges and replaced the edges with these uh, colorful lasers. And that's why the curves effect needs to be done because the more contrast the shot is, the better this uh, effect of finding edges will work. So we, with the find edges, we wanna invert it so the white becomes black. 
and we don't have to worry about all the colors going on right now because we're going to fix that with our next effect which is right mouse click effect color correction tint now we can tint it whatever we want we can see that uh, the lasers that we want to tint are uh, white so if we select the white color over here we can make it any color for the sake of matching the uh, short film it was a light blue so right there looks solid and now we're left with this that is something of a nightmare but that's okay because we're going to make it look cool uh, we select our footage and the blending mode we're going to go from normal we're going to set it to add and now we have this nice glowing uh, around our uh, magazine of these lasers this glow it's beautiful next thing we're going to do before you forget is to turn on our motion blur for the footage so right here just select and you can see these three balls beside each other um, that turns on the motion blur and right over here this is going to be highlighted blue if it's not that means the motion blur is not enabled in the uh, preview so even if that's selected you're not going to be able to see it it'll still render out but you're not going to be able to see it in the preview so just make sure that is highlighted blue uh, again i'm doing this thing where i'm pointing at the screen uh, you can't see my hands i apologize for that <clears throat> if we watch the shot we can see that you just have these blue lasers these blue lines uh, on our magazine not very exciting what we're going to do is we're going to right mouse click go to effect and now we're going to add a blur and the type of blur we're going to add is a directional blur we're going to make the angle 22 we're making it 22 because 22 uh i feel like 22 anyway that's taylor swift <coughs> sorry uh 22 is going to be uh this direction right here which is almost kind of perpendicular to the uh, magazine it's not really but it gives it a nice uh, balance to when, what we're gonna do with this effect, whatever. I'm just getting wordy right now. So we're going to change the blur length to five, and that just softens out the uh, harshness of those lines. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to right mouse click, add another blur, which is going to be a Gaussian blur. And this is going to be at the very beginning, we're going to keyframe it, and we're going to make it something such as 55. And then we're going to go to right when the magazine starts to get in focus, which is about right there, we can do it. And we're going to just put it down to zero. So this kind of gives the effect of like it's out of focus and now it's coming into focus. Even our effect that we're putting on it is obeying the laws of the Zeiss lens that we filmed with. I don't, we didn't film the Zeiss lens, maybe, I don't know. And now for when it impacts right there, right? Let's see, right? There, that's when the magazine is hitting the table. What we wanna do is we wanna keyframe the blur length of our directional blur. So keyframe that, then come down to our footage and when it's selected, hit U on our keyboard and that's going to show all of our keyframes. And you can see here directional blur, blur length, it's uh, showing up right there. And we're going to go three frames ahead. So was that three? I was talking one, two, three. And then we're going to just boost it up a lot to about 50 looks good and then we're going to go back to the uh, beginning keyframe hit t that's going to bring up opacity hit the keyframe i mean the uh stopwatch to create a keyframe and then go four frames ahead one two three four and then uh put it down to zero so then it fades out so then we have this effect right here and that is Almost it, that's not, I was about to say that's it. Uh, there's one more, there's, there's one more thing. <laughs> so now we're going to take this shot that we just did, the duplicated, the glowing blur, and we're gonna duplicate that so we have two of them, all right? So then we're gonna take one of them and we're gonna move it ahead two keyframes. So we'll do the top one, one, two, ahead two keyframes. And then we're going to do the uh, second one right here, just one keyframe ahead. So now we've taken this effect and we've now turned it into not just we're highlighting the magazine, but the highlights is now like the motion blur of the magazine falling and it's giving it this, in my opinion, a cartoony feel of movement, maybe even a sci-fi feel of move it, move, movement, I, sci-fi, hmm, I don't know. Anyway, so let's check that out real fast. And that's the effect, that's literally how it's done. You do the exact same thing for the next magazine right here just mask it, do all the same layers, and then you do the same thing for this one right here. This effect is very simple, but it's also very uh, versatile. You can, I really hope versatile is a word, versatile, versatile. It's very flexible. 
You can do it on cars where you're having this nice laser uh, motion blur behind cars, people running, uh, a ball being thrown in the air, birds flying, anything. You can play around with the mask. This mask right here, you can have it um, moving. You can create another mask around it that's uh, making a strobe effect. So it's not only highlighting the magazine, but it's actually um, uh, quickly I like drawing around the magazine where these highlights are, if that makes sense. So there's a lot of things you can do with it. You can have fun with it. And so I hope that you uh, can learn from this as well. Take it in, go do something yourself with it. If you do, tag me in it, send it to me. I'd love to see it. That'd be pretty cool. Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, stay up to date. Because this channel has got some stuff coming in the year of 2021.